So what will be next after after you're happy with how they're looking here? Put them in a sink. Okay. Rinse them off. Put some ice cubes in there. Does that help set the dye? Yep. Set some quick. Put about eight ice cubes in there while I'm rinsing them. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, those look nice. What I like about it is, I don't know, my, my quills seem to die just even, I don't know why, and then I see quills other places, they're not, I suppose they're doing something wrong. Huh. Other quills are, um, I don't know, they're just not dyed even, they're in different colors, they, they don't look right. But look at these, how they they look all the same. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no difference. No, they look good. I don't think I've ever seen tweezers that big before. <laughs> <laughs> I found those in a uh, um, flea market. Uh, Holy man, they're nice. But I'll have to sort them anyway. Uh, sort them now or later. That's true. Good point. But I'll have all different sizes. Mm-hmm. Jeez. <laughs> a while longer. I need some ice cubes. Somebody think this is nothing but a big sticky gooey mess. <laughs> there was a guy that tried to dye quills. He wrote a book about quill work. Oh really? And when he first dyed quills, he he boiled them and they just he ruined them. Hmm. I don't know how many times he tried before he hit it right on, and he finally realized he couldn't boil them. I don't know where I read that in some book. Huh. It just wrecks them. Yep. So you gotta be really careful so you don't boil them. One more time. Oh. They look pretty dark to you. Yeah. They do. They look nice. They're not transparent. Rinse you know. them. I'll go some ice cubes. To set the color. I'm going to use them all.
I tried to save that die one time. It doesn't. I was gonna ask you. That. It gets moldy. Uh. Because it's a uh, vegetable. There must be some vegetable in it. Or oh. Something. Rinse them again. Them until the water runs clear. Mm. They look like pine needles now. <laughs> <laughs> See the water is clear now. A mm -hmm. couple of rinsings. All the dye is gone. And it's really ice cold from the ice cubes. So it's setting them really nice. That didn't take long. No. Set. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Then I'll let them dry for a day. See how nice and clear the water is? Mm hmm. Okay. Now I just put them on newspaper to dry for a couple of days or one day. And that's how you dye quills? Yep. Okay. I don't even know how long that took, about 15 minutes? Yeah, that's about it. 10, 15 minutes? Ten, yep. Yeah, people think it's so hard, you know, it's easy.